What's happening, my film nerds? David the Film Junkie here. What the hell is going on here, Mr. Gad? Huh? Why? Somebody has been hanging out with Army Hammer, or somebody's been hanging out with a Mr. David Ayer. That's right, guys. If you uh, go on your little Twitter and check out Josh Gad, he tweeted out an image of the penguin. An image that's a pretty cool image. Looks like exactly how the penguin does in the comic books. Saying, ah, make me. Obviously, probably talking to Batman. And, of course, a lot of people were like, you know, we're all going, what the hell? Why is he doing that? Yeah, it's pretty interesting. I mean, Josh Gad as the Penguin. Hmm. I'm not the biggest fan, not going to lie. But an actor can always be transformed. And a lot of people have even said the first thing that I even thought about, too, was he's a little too young if he's playing the Penguin. But then you go, well, nowadays, anybody can play any age because the makeup... I mean, obviously, there'd be heavy makeup for the Penguin, and they could just make him look old. And if they're really going for that uh, Virgis... Oh, fuck, I forgot his name. Virgis Meredith? Burgess? Virgis? You know, the original Penguin from the show. Him mixed in with Arkham, maybe a hint, a little pinch of Danny DeVito. And, you know, there you go. Then you have, like, a, a certain Penguin right there. Maybe. I don't know. It's interesting. But what's also interesting, too, guys, and let me uh, f pull it up right here. You know, a lot of people want, oh, maybe he's just trolling. You know, he's doing the Army Hammer thing. Maybe somebody asked him, like, oh, yeah, would you ever want to play uh, somebody or this, that, and this? <sighs> and, of course, I'm not going to be able to find it. Uh, yeah, some of that. Oh, it didn't retweet. You know, I love it when Twitter, when you retweet something or tweet something and it doesn't show up on your actual feed. Isn't that a little strange? Uh, that's a little strange to me. So let me hold on. Hold on here. I might have to do an edit. Yep, yep. Go, go down. Go down. By the way, somebody. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. Okay. So right here, guess who's following Mr. Josh Gad? Jeff Johns, as well as David Ayer, James Wan, and producer of the DCEU, John Berg. That's right. So. If you decipher all this, and so far this is what we're looking at here, we got John Berg, producer, of course, Jeff Johns, of course, just looking over the whole thing, James Wan, who's a fellow director, David Ayer, but no Matt Reeves. So what does this tell us? Well, it could tell us that this might not be a Batman movie villain, or although he might show up there, you never know. What if he's showing up in Gotham City Sirens? That is a big-time possibility. If David Ayer is following him, and James Wan right after him? That's a little interesting. So there you go, guys. A lot of the DC guys are following Josh Gad. I don't know if this was a recent follow or not. But no Matt Reeves, no Ben Affleck. You know, I haven't seen anything yet. You know, everybody doing their investigating out there, which is awesome. I love when we, I love it when we, uh, when something like this happens and we all just go in investigative mode, like, ah, who's following? He's following. <laughs> you know, that's just what we do because we're dorks like that. You know, fuck, why not? But uh, it's interesting stuff. I never thought about Josh Gad. I mean, a lot of people has thrown, a lot of people have thrown out Alfred Molina as playing the Penguin, which that is just pretty perfect right there if you think about it because Alfred Molina is just a phenomenal actor and we've already seen him play a, a classic comic book villain which of course was Doc Ock in Spider-Man 2 which is considered one of the best um, superhero movies one of the best CBMs that is out there it still holds up still I mean as as, as much as like Spider-Man started off like okay this is pretty damn cool yeah, we got Spidey doing this, that, and that, but it was a little cheesy, you know, Willem Dafoe as the as the as the Goblin and everything. And then you had Spider Man too, which just blew everybody away, you know, just had so many layers and so much depth. And then you had Alfred Molina, who had so many layers and so many depth. And then of course it just kind of fell flat with Spider Man three. Wow, how do you go from Spider Man two to three? Anyways, the point is, the point here, guys, is Alfred Molina would be an awesome Penguin, but. You know, as much as I'm not really a big fan of Josh Gad, I think I kind of lost my way with him after watching Pixels because he annoyed the absolute piss out of me in Pixels. Well, that whole movie sucked my butthole, but, you know, he just was so freaking annoying that I just immediately was like, I'm done. I'm done with Gad. He's just... And then I'm going, oh, God, this guy, this guy right here is going to play Penguin. That's okay. He, he can have some range. Like I said, you get him in some makeup, you probably won't even recognize him.
There you go, guys. Let me know your thoughts about it down below. What do you think about Josh Gad playing the Penguin? Do you think he's playing in the Batman movie? Or is he going to play in Gotham City Sirens? Or maybe both. You let me know down below in the balls area, guys. And, uh, yeah, let's see what you guys have to say. Please hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to the other channel, too. Follow me on the social media stuff floating above my head. All right. Talk to you later.